Hey all, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hope you are all doing good. So this is the tutorial in which we are going to create a simple app where you will be having a text box and a button inside the window and uh, the features of this app will be whenever uh, you can write the your message in the text box by just clicking on the button that uh, text that have been entered in the text box will be shown inside the message box. Let's say I'm going to write my name is James in the text box and uh, like I'm clicking on the button so what will happen a message box will be popping up along with that message which is uh, my name is James so let's go ahead and uh, create that so in the last tutorial we have used the co use this code to create the button and the window so I'm going to do add just the message box and the text box and the like uh, process for that which is the input and output let's go ahead and uh, create this one the first thing which i'm requiring is like i need a queue action which is i'm going to import queue action here we go i've imported the queue action from pyqt5 widget followed by i need a queue line edit in order to like edit the text box and uh, write our message followed by i need a queue message box where the message will be displayed so here we go we need to import that so we have imported the required thing no uh, we have already defined the title left top width and height uh, so this has already been defined that is window title and uh, followed by self dot geometry so here what we are going to do is we are going to create a text box so let's go ahead and create the text box which is by first we will use the self keyword along with that we are going to use like so text box self dot text box equals to what we are going to do we are going to use the q line edit which we have imported here we go it's popping up so we are going to use the q line edit and inside the parentheses we are going to use the self keyword here we go we have uh, created a text box uh, like variable inside the by using the self keyword and inside that we have use q line edit and the next thing what we are going to do just like we did in uh, button we are we are also going to use the move part which is by using self dot text box which is this one where we have created dot move so inside the move let's provide some value which is 20 comma 80 here we go we did that so the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, the resize like whenever i'm going to maximize the text box should also be maximized or minimized based on the uh, requirement of ours and I'm going to use the self dot text box dot resize and inside the colon I'm going to provide 280 comma 40 here we go we did that now as we have created the text box with the five uh, with the three things which is self dot text box and move and resize now we are going to alter some things in the button part as uh, the in order to perform the operation so we are going to use first the self uh, keyword which is self dot button and uh, let's give some other name for this button which i would provide show text like a button will be created along with the show text of this of it as a caption for the button so here we go self dot button has been created now what i'm going to do i'm going to use self dot button dot move and uh, let's provide the let's change the value to only not i i don't need to have uh, 100 comma 70 i'll get a smaller one which is uh, 20 comma 80 so here also we'll use the self keyword okay this is not required actually uh, as we are creating a simple one so i am going to remove this self dot button dot self tool set tool tip 
okay these are these are an example button so i'm going to remove that here we go just the three things are required two things are required so uh, self dot button and uh, self dot button dot move uh, which we did it for uh, self dot text box dot move now what i am going to do uh, this is one statement which is remaining so the next step what we are going to do is we are going to connect the button to function on click which is this so uh, we don't need to write the separate code we'll use this code and just by using self dot button dot click dot connect uh, i have just used the self keyword to connect this button to function on click so here we go we did that so in the on click part as in the last tutorial what happened is like a message was shown which whenever i am clicking on the button which is pi qt5 button clicked so here we are going to change this to make sure that whatever we are writing on the text box that should be prompted on the message box so in order to do that first thing what we are going to do is we are going to create a variable called text box value and inside this we are going to set the text box which is by using self dot text box dot text here we go we have used the self bo self dot text box which is this one dot text here we go we have set that text box value and now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to use the queue message box which we have imported here we go it is showing is showing it is as here we here we go we have used the queue message box which we have imported and by using that what we are going to do we are going to use the dot operator and we are going to use the costin method which is q here we go it's popping up so we have used the q message box which we have imported following with that we have used the costin method and inside the parenthesis we are going to first use the self keyword followed by let's say i'm going to provide the caption as message and i'm going to provide inside the double quotes which is you have typed this will be popped up in the message box so i'm going to write you typed here we go so i have provided the you typed and the message should be shown right so i'm going to add on the plus text box value which is this one so we have set the cell broad text box text right so this one will be provided you typed the text box value so the next thing what we are going to do is like we are going to make sure that q message box work so in order to do that we are going to again use the q message box and provide dot okay this will make sure that uh, q message box is there so q again i'm going to provide let's provide it two times which is q message box dot okay here we go we have provided the q message box and uh, so after doing this what we are going to do we are going to set the self dot text box here we go the text box self dot text box is there so dot we are going to set the text and inside that let's keep it blank here we go i would like to explain what we did over here so in this on click method we have changed other things which is we have created the text box value variable inside that we have used those like self dot text box dot text which is the text value that needs to be displayed so and after that we need a message box to display the text right so we have used the q message box which we have imported from qt5 widgets so we have imported that and uh, like we have used the self keyword and uh, 
provided the message like uh, and uh, you typed which is uh, for example if i'm writing down the text and clicking on the button so what will happen uh, caption with you typed along with the message that you are writing in will be short we will discuss this uh, while running the program so after that uh, we have like use plus text box value uh, which is indicating our message uh, that we have typed and followed by we have provided q message box dot ok and q message box dot ok two times to make sure that uh, q message box is popping up and lastly we have uh, also used the text box for dot set text to make sure the message is uh, like set here we go we have provided the code let's go ahead and uh, run the program now we are going to run the program here we go we are going to run the program here we go the output is displayed so here we go as you can see the output is displayed with pyqt5 text box as the uh, like our header part and uh, let's write the message my name is james or let's say hello PyQt. Welcome to PyQt program. I'm going to write this. Here we go. So let's click on this button and uh, view our message. Here we go. As you can see, uh, you typed "Welcome to PyQt program" is shown. So I'd like to discuss what happened over here. So this window uh, is created which is ma maximizing and uh, like minimizing and maximizing so the text box which we created is coming from over here which is the where is it here we go so the text box is coming from here by taking the value from here which is the text box value and plus text box value so as you can see and uh, like uh, the text box is set and uh, along with that the message box is coming when i am writing down the uh, when i am using the editor welcome to pyqt and clicking on the text button so you, as you can see message box is coming in with uh, you typed shown over here which we used and uh, the message as the header for the queue message box as you can see the message is here and uh, you typed has been taken along with the text box value which is the plus text box value why we used it to uh, as text box dot text and we have set the text so welcome to pyqt is shown along with the ok button which is queue message box dot ok so ok button is there so here we go I'm just clicking on OK. So it's going on. Here we go. So this is the program. And uh, along with that, I would like to discuss one more thing. So the button we created, which is the Q push button, is coming from there, which is show text. So this is that. And uh, the header is PyQt5 text box is coming in the window part which is this one pyqt5 text box so this is how we created the program we created the window we created the text box the second step and we created the button and inside the pyqt slot we set the program which is setting the text box dot text and uh, the value and also like uh, we use the message box to display the message by clicking on the button of show the show text so I hope you like the program and uh, that's it for today. Thank you for jo joining in pro joining with programming knowledge. Uh, we'll see you in next tutorials with uh, more uh, programs and applications. Bye guys.